What's up guys, Paul coming at you here. I hope this video finds you well. I hope you're doing well. Listen, if you're here and you clicked on this video, chances are you're having an issue with your IQ Elite LCD upgrade kit. I'm gonna try and knock this out here uh, under the 10 minute mark and explain to you what I did to actually fix my issue that I was having. Again, a little disclaimer. Uh, I am not a tech, I'm not a C, I'm not a computer tech guy. These are uh, things that I changed that worked for me. Um, you're going to have to kind of do this at your own risk. I'm not going to be liable for anything that, that I tell you that I've done and you go and try it. And I, I, you know, I can't take that chance. Chances are, if you're here anyways, you already work on your computer. So you're just having an issue and you want to try and figure out if maybe what I did helps you. Okay. So here we have the, uh, IQ, uh, Corsair, uh, elite LCD upgrade kit. Okay. This was released late last year. Um, to this day, um, people are having issues with this um, my issue now I'm not gonna waste your time if you're here and you have your display is having a red triangle uh, with a little asterisk um, that is not the issue I was having okay so I don't want to waste your time if you're here and you're, you have that issue going on right now currently um, I did not have that issue you could try what I did maybe that'll help you I don't know um, but either way um, my issue was not being able to control the screen. I had no option in the IQ software to upload GIFs. I had no option to upload pictures. Um, and that's kind of why we, I know, I know this is why I bought this screen, is so that I can kind of personalize it and make my build a little bit more my own, right? Um, so that is the issue I was having, okay? And I'm gonna tell you what I did right off the bat to kind of fix that, okay? Actually, to fix it, that's what worked for me. Um, this kit comes with um, a, a few things in here, obviously the LCD display, and it also comes with what they call a Y splitter. Okay, this has a USB 2.0 cable that has to plug into the splitter. Now, I will note this was I, I followed the instructions that Corsair gave me to the T. There's actually a video out that they put on how to install this, and I followed it. They want you to use this, plug your LCD display into this, and then plug your commander core <clears throat> that comes with your cooler into the splitter, and then plug the splitter into your motherboard, right? Um, for some reason, I don't know why, um, my LCD was not being recognized by IQ. Um, again, never had the option to change anything, so I'm just going to kind of run through real quick what I have. I have the H100i. Uh, Copelix cooler. I also have the RGB 220T, I believe it is, uh, RGB f case. It comes with three fans. It's by Corsair. And I also have uh, the motherboard, which is, is kind of pertinent, the Asus Prime 570P motherboard. Uh, this is a budget board. On my board, particularly, I only had two RG or two USB headers to plug stuff into, right? I don't know if every board's like that. Again, I'm not a computer tech. I only know what I have. I only know what I've worked on. So this board particularly only has two. Um, the two, the, the case comes with what is known as a lighting node. That lighting node has inputs for RGB fans, has inputs for um, the RGB and the fans. I said RGB fans. So anyways, it has those inputs and that output is a cable that is a 2.0 USB cable that plugs in your motherboard. So initially... I was running my three fans that came in the case off that lighting node, uh, out of the lighting node, through the, the 2.0 USB cable into the motherboard. The other three fans, the two fans from the cooler and the one exhaust fan on the rear, into the commander core, and then from the commander core, sorry, from the commander core is running to the other USB 2.0 header on the motherboard. So. I would have had to have used this in order to make it work. This is the Y splitter I just showed you. I would have had to have used this to make the LCD screen work. I did. It did not work. Okay. So this morning when I got up, um, why? I don't even know why. This is kind of a rookie move. I only built this computer almost two years ago. Uh, again, I'm not a tech. I kind of know my way around this stuff now, but I by no means am a, a genius or... Uh, a scholar at it by any means so um, 
I took everything apart this morning. Um, not everything. I took all, I unplugged all my fans and unplugged all my RGB cables. And I ran them all into this Corsair Commander Core. Okay. From here, I ran the uh, ditched, I ditched the splitter and ran this 2.0 cable from the Commander Core into the motherboard. The lighting node that came attached to the case already that had the three front fans hooked into it. Why? I don't know why. I just didn't plug all of the fans into the Commander Core. Um, I plugged, I unplugged it, bypassed it, and plugged all the fans from there into the Commander Core. Okay? So I eliminated having to use two of the 2.0 headers on the MOBO um, to run the fans and lights. I plugged them all into this, and it actually worked out better because that freed up a spot where I can plug in the LCD uh, upgrade kit too. Now, um, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, the fix for this for me was to plug this directly into the motherboard, bypassing the dumb Y cable that they give you, right? Because um, originally, I like I think I said this already, plugged, plugged this, I'm tired, okay, so give me a second. I plugged in the 2.0 into here, and then I plugged the, the LCD display into here. It splits it into one, blah, blah, blah. Plugs into the motherboard. Okay. For some reason, um, the Elite, the IQ software was not recognizing the Elite LCD upgrade kit. Um, I will say, as soon as I fired up uh, my computer, um, let, me, let me back up real quick. When I, because this motherboard that I have, the Asus motherboard, um, when I fired up my computer, it kicked me into the BIOS. And you might need to know this, okay, just so you know. Uh, it kicked me into the BIOS because it wasn't detecting any fan plugged into the CPU one port. So I went ahead into the settings, went over to monitors, went down to the CPU fan, drop down menu, hit ignore, saved, exit. When I did that and I exited, I immediately got hit with um, notifications down in, my, down in my notification center, down here on the bottom right hand corner um, for the LCD display, right? Pretty stoked. So I went ahead and opened IQ and I was greeted with, you know, firmware updates, LCD, um, you know, screen firmware updates, blah, blah, blah. And you go down to um, device settings. Right in here, um, I had LCD screen firmware update. So I went ahead and updated that. And uh, lo and behold, now I have hardware screen, and I have a screen setup option. I have the option to put an image here. I have the option to, to put a GIF. This is the GIF. I, I uh, have a, a gaming page. This is the GIF for that page. Um, I will note this, though. Before I did this... Um, the Commander Core was here on the screen. Um, I don't know where it went. I don't know why it disappeared. Um, I think that it's kind of something one in the same where it's one in the same with this this Capellix section now. And I'll tell you why that I think that is. If you go down into lighting setup down here in in the Capellix and go back go back home, you're into the Capellix lighting section here. Um, lighting setup you'll see that you have six ports here for RGB plus the ring if you go over to run wizard down here on the bottom left hit next hit next on the screens that pop up it'll actually recognize all of the RGB ports that you have um, the fans plugged into on the commander core so even though it's not there technically it's still kind of there that makes sense so um that kind of that that's what kind of did it for me guys i mean that kind of fixed it uh kind of you know actually didn't kind of it actually did fix it i mean i'll go and i'll show you a picture of it here i was uh let me get in back in here i was um i'm on the uh, corsair uh community uh page for this thread this thread is what corsair labeled it um he created it March 1st, old Nick, over at Corsair, the Elite LCD Megathread. 
And it's a mega thread because this thread has 29 pages. 29 pages in it. All right. Um, there's definitely an issue here. Let me just show you a picture here. This is my build. Um, this is the case. This is the uh, cooler that I have. That's the Asus motherboard I told you about. Uh, and there it is. Now, this is actually a GIF. It moves. It's animated. Um, this is obviously a picture. So, um, so on and so forth. You know. So, anyways, um, there is definitely. I kind of. I got. I kind of got to harp a little bit on uh, Corsair. Right now, as of last week, Corsair pretty much said, if you're having problems with this, guys, let us know and get an RMA going. That's, that's not the issue. That's not the fix. I don't feel like that's the fix. It wasn't the fix for me. I feel like there's people that can benefit from this video, which is why I created it. Um, so there you have it. Um, <clears throat> if you can find a way to plug this screen uh, into directly into the motherboard, then you are, or you should be, I'm not going to say you are, I'm going to say this will work for me. For me, plugging this into the motherboard directly actually fix the screen, and I'm able to control it, I'm able to add GIFs, I'm able to add images now. Um, <clears throat> I got <laughs> I got, I got to harp on Corsair, man. The firmware updates, I was, I've been doing this for three months, fighting this, and, um, firmware update after firmware update after firmware update and none of the patch notes in the firmware are addressing this issue um, I don't know why um, there were some updates that had you know you're able to rotate the screen and rotate the gif and rotate you know if you have it mounted different so on and so forth um, but there was nothing really in here that addressed the issue of not being able to control the screen or do anything with the screen um, again, it wasn't until I plugged it in directly into the motherboard that I actually got it to work. So, I'm hoping that helps you. Uh, I've recorded this video a couple times. <laughs> try not to get too long-winded. Uh, try not to, um, you know, try to go into a little bit of detail. If you have any questions, um, uh, I, can, I can explain it better to you in the comments if you want to just drop a comment below. I'm not, not really here to... to blow this page up or get more likes or any of that stuff um this this page is not really built around this kind of content this is my moto vlog page i have a, a you know i have a harley i ride and i i do tri my trips and post videos of my trips and stuff on here um but i actually use this computer to edit video and you know to game a little bit and to work so um <laughs> I, I kind of got tired of just seeing this all the time, so I knew I had to do something about it. So I finally was picking my brain last night and came up with this idea, so uh, I'm just glad it worked. And um, Corsair, you, you really got to kind of do something with this, man. Um, that is my fix, guys. So anyhow, I'm going to leave you here. Uh, thanks for watching. If you Again, if you have a, a question, drop it down below in the comments. I'll do my best to get back to you. Until next time, y'all take care. I hope this helps. Stay safe out there, and God bless.